Hello, I want to begin by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakadash. Double honors to my teachers, the apostles, and the elders of Great Millstone. Much respect to you, brothers, laboring worldwide in truth and sincerity. Salutations and blessings to the hopeful elect, believing on the words of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Coming at you with another lesson. Lord willing is edifying. The title of this lesson is Without Yahawashai, no justice, no peace. Okay? And you know you had this past weekend the celebration of the Juneteenth. Our people are deceived, you know. They 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 go the way of their oppressor, right? And they believe that they're gonna get justice or peace from their oppressor. Matter of fact. Let's get something right quick. Let's go to Second Maccabees. Because the thing that have been is that which shall be. Right? Second Maccabees, chapter 4, and verse 16. It says, By reason where a sore calamity came upon them. For they had them to be their enemies and avengers. See? And this is doing what? The Grecian captivity. All right? When uh, Antiochus Epiphany came up against the children of Israel. All right? And tried to have them leave off from their own customs. All right? From their own laws. Again, it says, By reason where a sore calamity came upon them, for they had them to be their enemies right and avengers so how are you going to get justice or peace from your enemies okay it says whose custom they follow so earnestly and to whom they desire to be like in all things see that and that's two-thirds of our people who still screaming no justice no peace all the way up until now but without your shine, you will have no justice no peace all right Let's go to Ecclesiastes real quick. Ecclesiastes. <clears throat> chapter 4. Okay. Ecclesiastes chapter 4 and verse 1. So I return and consider all the oppressions that were done under the sun. And behold... The tears of such as were oppressed, and they had no comfort. Yeah, for a long time, our people had no comfort, right? Which is who? Yahweh Shai. All right, because he's going to bring justice and peace. It says, and they had no comfort, and on the side of their oppressors, there was power. You see? And on the side of their oppressors, there was power, but they had no comfort in this, in this time. The Lord Yahweh has given us the comfort, which is of these scriptures. It's going to lead us in the path of righteousness. All right. It's going to have us see the light to walk away from this world. So we can have justice and peace. Because that's the only way it's coming through Yahweh Shai. Right? And two thirds of our people, you know, they don't want to walk in the path. Matter of fact, real quick, let's go to Jeremiah. Because the Lord says, search out the old paths, right? Jeremiah chapter 6 and verse 16. It says, thus saith the Lord. See, thus saith the Lord, stand ye in the ways and see and ask for the old paths. Where is the good way and walk therein? And ye shall find rest, see, and ye shall find rest for your souls. That rest translates into peace, right? But they said we will not walk therein. That's two-thirds of our people. Constantly rebellious, all right? Those same spirits are back, all right? And they're going to be here to receive the judgment. Again, without Yahweh Shai, no justice, no peace, right? Let's go to the book of Isaiah. <clears throat> then what happened to the lesson? Isaiah 
chapter 59. Okay. Isaiah chapter 59 and verse 8. The way of peace they know not. See, the way of peace they know not. And there is no judgment in their goings. They have made them crooked paths. Whosoever go up therein shall not know peace. See? So anything you subscribe to, right? And you're looking for relief in the way of what? Sports? Music? Money? Guess what? You're not going to know peace going those crooked paths. Let's read this again. The way of peace they know not. And there is no judgment in their goings. They have made them crooked paths. Yeah, they follow the ways of Esau. All right, trusting in their enemy. All right, which is also their avenger. Okay, they have made them crooked paths. Whosoever goeth therein shall not know peace. Therefore is judgment far from us. See, therefore is judgment far from us. Neither do of justice overtake us. We wait for light. What's that light? Yahweh Shai. All right. And he has came. All right. And says, but behold, obscurity for brightness. But we walk in darkness. You see, two thirds of our people are walking in darkness. All right. They don't know the path. All right. That's going to lead to justice and peace. Okay. Let's hop into the lesson. Let's go to the book of John. <clears throat> John chapter 14, okay, and let's start at verse 6. Yahweh Shai saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. You see, again, it says, Yahweh Shai saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh to the Father but by me. So without Yahweh Shai, you're not going to get justice. You're not going to get peace. All right? You're not going to get to the Father, which all encompass that same thing. Right? Real quick. Uh, Proverbs. Just to bag that up. Proverbs. Chapter 8. And I'm going to start at... Um, You know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start at 35. Whoso find of me, find of life, you see, and shall obtain favor of the Lord. Let's read this again. Whoso, who, for whoso find of me, find of life. So you find that path, all right, that's going to lead you back to the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh you're going to find life. And in turn, you're going to have justice and you're going to have peace. It says, whoso find of me, find of life, and shall obtain favor of the Lord that same way. All right? Where uh, Yahweh Shai just mentioned. All right? No man cometh to the Father but by me. That's a path. It says, but he that sinneth against me wrong of his own soul. All they that hate me love death. You see? All they that hate me love death. Okay, so you're going to be, you know, constantly coming up against the word. Guess what? You hate Yahweh Shai. And in turn, you love death. Because this is the only way you're going to be able to get out of here. All right? This is the only way you're going to be able to get justice. The only way you're going to be able to get peace. Right? Real quick. Let's go to Jeremiah. Back to the book of Jeremiah. Chapter 23. And um, let's get to a point. Verse five. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord. What is that? That's prophecy. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will raise unto David a righteous branch. Who is that branch? Yahweh Shai. All right. What is that? Uh, John fifteen. Real quick. Let's go get that. John. Chapter 15, that righteous branch, okay? This is John 15 and 1. I am the true vine. My father is the husband. 
Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away. And every branch that bear fruit, he purges of it, that it may bring forth more fruit. So who is that branch? How was that? Okay. Let's go back. Again in Jeremiah chapter 23 and verse 5. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will raise unto David a righteous branch. And a king shall reign and prosper and execute judgment and justice in the earth. You see, Yahweh Shai is going to execute judgment and justice in the earth, man. All right. You're not going to get it from, from your local politician. You're not going to get it from your 401k, your 10 year plan. No, man. You're not going to get it from marching. Only way you're going to get justice and judgment and peace is from Yahweh by Yahweh Shai, man. Point blank, period. All right, let's go back to the book of Sarah. Uh, to the book of Sarah, back to the Apocrypha Salakia. Okay. Sarah, or Ecclesiasticus. Chapter 32. Okay. And let's start at verse 14. Whoso fear of the Lord will receive his discipline, and they that seek him early shall find favor. See, you seeking how about shall shy? All right, you're gonna find favor of the Lord. We read that in Proverbs. But you gotta seek him early while he may be found. All right, this is how you're gonna get that justice and the peace that we we so long have been seeking for. Right? He that seeketh the law, which is this book in its entirety shall be filled therewith but the hypocrite will be offended there yeah we tell our people you know you're the greatest people in the world all right uh the lord has six you above all people and they get offended at it we tell them that only the nation of israel can be saved and they get offended at it well hell who who needs the justice who needs the peace hell you marching all right you celebrating a a a, a wicked holiday that your enemy gave you all right this is a slap in the face and you call that justice, you call that peace. Let's read this again. He that seek of the law shall be filled therewith, but the hypocrite will be offended there. You offended at the words of Yahweh by Shah Shah. Right? It says, They that fear the Lord shall find judgment. Let's read this again. They that fear the Lord shall find judgment and shall kindle justice as a light. You <laughs> see that? So we know. Through the spirit of power, Yahweh by Shavashai, he's going to bring us justice and judgment and peace, which is rest, man. Okay? That's going to be it for the lesson. Lord willing, it's been edifying. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakakadash. Double honors to my teachers, the apostles and elders, great millstone. Lord willing, coming to you a lesson. Till the next time I say, Shalom.